Hey guys, welcome back to the 6th episode on making a MOBA character. In this video, we will look into combat, having our character perform an auto attack, then syncing the damage with the animation using animation events. What we're going to do first is create a new script called stats and have it open in Visual Studios. The variables we need are public float named max health, another public float called health, public float attack damage, public float attack speed, a public float called attack time, and hero combat named hero combat script. For the start method, We'll get the hero combat script by gameobject.find, gameobject with tag, player, and then get the hero combat script. Then we'll do an if statement in the update method, where if the health is less than or equal to zero, destroy the game object and have the targeted enemy set to null, and the bull perform melee attack to false. Going back to Unity, add the stat script to the player. These are my settings, but you can play around with attack speed and attack damage to suit your game. You will also add this script to the enemy. Right now we're just going to worry about the health, so you can change the health of the enemy to whatever you feel like. Next, we'll go to the 2D canvas in the hierarchy, and open up the health script from the 2D health slider game object. We're going to update the script by first removing the public int health and adding the stat script, finding it through the player tag and getting the component. We'll delete these lines of code with errors and rewrite them. In the start method, have player slider 3D.max value equal to stat script max health and statscript.health equal to statscript.maxhealth. In the update method, have player slider 2 d equal to the statscript.health. I did forget to add one line of code that I later realized which was having the player slider 2 dmax value also equal to the statscript.maxhealth. Going back to Unity, we're going to duplicate the script, renaming it enemy health, and also changing the class name to enemy health. For the variables, we'll change the player slider 3 d to enemy slider 3 d and get rid of anything that involves 2D sliders. In the start method, we'll change find game object with tag from player to enemy to get the stats info. Remove the unnecessary lines of code and rename everything to enemy. In Unity, copy the 3D player health canvas and make it into a child of the enemy. Reset its transform so it's above the enemy and then we'll add the enemy health script to it. Shortly after, drag the slider from the dropdown of the health canvas to the enemy slider 3D slot in the inspector. Now it's time to edit the hero combat script. Open it up and we'll add the following variables. Stats named stat script, an animator called anim, and you use get component in the start method to get both the script and the animator. Going down to where we left off in the last video, we'll write this start coroutine melee attack interval. Create I enumerator melee attack interval where we'll have perform melee attack to false and anim.setBool bracket basic attack set to true. Then write yield return new wait for seconds bracket stat script dot attack time divided by 100 plus the attack time. Then times it by 0.01. To end the coroutine, we'll do a check if the targeted enemy is equal to null. We'll set the basic attack ball to false and perform melee attack back to true. We're going to create one more method, which is what we'll be using for the animation events to apply the damage to the enemy. Have public void melee attack, and we'll do two if statements where if the targeted enemy is not equal to null and if the targeted enemy type is minion, get the stats.health of the enemy and minus equal it by the stats script dot attack damage. In the end, have performed melee attack set to true. That's pretty much it for script wise. Moving to the animator, set a new parameter bool and call it basic attack. Same spelling to what we wrote in the script. Then get the attack animation and set a transition between the blend tree to the attack animation. Next, do two separate transitions back to the blend tree since we will be using two different conditions to set it back to its normal state. I untick has exit time and fixed duration and set the transition to 0.1. Down in the conditions, add the parameter speed, set to less and then 0.1, and then the basic attack parameter to true. On the transitions back, you can see at the top there are two separate transitions. Repeat the process but at the bottom, the condition should be just speed, greater, and 0.1. Then click on the other transition at the top, but this time the condition at the bottom is basic attack and is set to false. Going to the actual animation clip itself by double clicking, tick loot time and once we go down you will see the events and a drop down. Click the plus button. This animation event is what we will call the function based on where it's placed during the animation. For me, I want the player to deal damage twice, once when it uses the shield and then once again when it stabs. Just press plus to add another event and place it wherever you want. All we need to do is write the method we created earlier in the hero combat script which was melee attack. Click apply and once I play the game, you can see I can target the enemy and it will apply damage when he puts the shield and sword forward, since those are the frames I added the animation event. Then when the enemy gets below 0 HP, it will get destroyed. That's pretty much all for this video. 
If you do have any errors, you can download the entire project in GitHub down in the description below, since I do update it every episode for you all. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.